Welcome back programmers in the today's section I'm gonna quickly show you how you can send the email using Django and for that we are gonna use the Django.core.mail.email message so just quickly import from Django.core.mail import email message you can use the email multi alternative but it's the advanced level concept we are gonna do it simple way now let's use this email message in here we are gonna pass the subject body and senders email IDs you can send multiple email at the same time so let's pass the subject AIOC all in one code now I'm gonna pass the body of my email hi I am the Logan from AIOC this is the body you can write anything in here you want and in here too now we are gonna last parameter pass is to equal to we are gonna use the list and in this list you can pass as many as email you want at the same time so as you can see I pass the two email in here you can only pass one two now to send this email what you can do you can directly use this send in here or if you want to create an variable of this so you can create like this email equal to all of this content and whenever you want to call email just pass email dot send just like this email dot send now to send the email we must do some credential information so in the settings.py just write this code email backend equal to django.core.mail.backend.smtp.email backend email use tls equal to true email host equal to smtp.gmail.com email host user equal to your email address your email address and email host password equal to your email address password and email port equal to 587 you must pass all of this else it will not work now just restart the server and check your email you got one hi all in one code hi i am the logan from aioc so that's the simple way to get the email or send the email using the django as you can see i got both email in a different email address so that is it for today's guys if you like this video just like this video share this video with other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code